Welcome to Meals in Moments, where I invite your well-known face around to cook their favourite recipe. And I'll give you tips how to make fantastic meals that you cook in no time at all. Across the series, we'll be getting some great ideas from your favourite celebrities for simple and delicious meals that could be cooked up in minutes. Today's guest is a Scottish broadcaster who first graced our screens on MTV. Then graduated to present Top of the Pops, and if that's not enough, she has her own show on Radio 1. It's Edith Bowman. You do actually have quite a good foodie background, though, don't you? Because you're mum and dad. Yeah, I grew up in a hotel. My grandfather started a um, little six-bedroom B&B, and then um, we're from a big family. Mum's one of seven, so all the daughters and their husbands ran it for a while. And, yeah, literally sort of, you know, at my mum's cocktails in the kitchen from, from a very early age. So have you always been able to cook then? It was a job at the weekends for me, so I kind of had to. And then, weirdly, when I went to uni and stuff, I kind of forgot everything that I'd learned and lived on spinach and stir-fried rice for, like, three nice. years. Yeah, random nice. diet. But, um, but yeah, I just love it now. And I'm relieved that Edith's going to be cooking something she learned in her mum's kitchen rather than from her university days. It's her take on a real brunch classic, Eggs Benedict. Let's make the hollandaise sauce first, get that out of the way. Actually, we could get the bacon on whilst we're making that, so okay. let's get the bacon on in the pan. To grill it, fry it, let's fry it. it, fry it. Get the smell going, get us hungry. I, I <laughs> think, though, if you're going to if you're going to want bacon, have proper bacon, really. Yeah, and I really like streaky bacon as well. Yeah, it's All right, great. what's next? The hollandaise. I learned this from working in the hotel, from kind of just watching my mum and stuff. So the way I like to do it is, um, is kind of keeping it slightly warm over a bit of... of hot water yep. whilst you beat the eggs and stuff like that. So. You were brought up in a hotel. Yeah. But your career really has always been involved in, in the media. I, I, it's really funny. My dad's got this brilliant piece of footage of me when I was about five. We were on holiday in America. And my mum went up on a parapoint, you know, on the back of a boat in the parachute. And my dad's got an old cine camera and he's filming mum and he's filming me on the beach watching her. And he hands me the microphone and I sing the News at 10 theme tune. <laughs> Five-year-olds still up at 10 o'clock, it's questionable. So I'm like, nah, 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 nah. And then I go and interview my mum. First time I saw you was when you were on MTV. And, th and then Radio 1, was that, did that come next? So yeah, it was kind of like, oh, my God, you know, from listening to the chart on a Sunday when I was little growing up to, um, to being on the station was just kind of crazy. So while the bacon's frying in the pan, we start to make the star of the show Edith's Hollandaise sauce. We whisk two egg yolks while gradually adding the melted butter. It's important to keep the bowl warm over the simmering water. This is to ensure that the mixture doesn't split. It should be of a runny consistency. Once it thickens, add a little white wine vinegar. Then for added heat and texture, Dijon and whole grain mustard. One of the things that you are sort of known for mm -hmm. outside of just your radio work is I always associate you with festivals. Wherever there's a festival, I always think, I'm going to see you. <laughs> it yes, is. yeah, I love it. It's my favourite time of the year. Festival food. I, weirdly, I kind of always associate festival food with um, Thai green curries, yeah. you know, and burgers yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. I've only ever once attempted to cook at a festival, which was in the dark, on one of those kind of barbecues you can get, the, you know, at, at service stations. Shook away so, yeah. yeah, bad idea. Don't ever try and cook in the dark at a festival. What looks like cooked sausages, slightly charred, uh, were raw as anything nice. in the middle. And it's just like, I nearly poisoned the band. <laughs> it's just like, oh, <laughs> dear Lord, no, so. Would you like me to well, toast? Would you like to toast your, your buns for you? <laughs> yes, please. Don't make your own <laughs> jokes up, people. Yeah. <laughs> now, you must have met loads and loads of people. You've interviewed so many people in your time. Yeah. Who's been the nicest? Oh, do you know who I loved? Properly had a girl crush on, Angelina Jolie. I've got a boy crush on her, actually. <laughs> yeah, join the queue. Yeah. Um, <laughs> she was amazing. It's that thing where you, you know, you, you, I really try and not make, have preconceived ideas of what people are going to be like, but it is hard when you're surrounded by opinions about people through yeah. different media. And, um, and I, was, I went in there a little bit terrified of her, in a, in a way, to be honest. She was so nice. After the interview, someone must have told her that I had a little boy who is about the same age as her twins. So she was like, oh, have you got a picture of your little boy? And I'm like that. Oh, my God. I really need Julie wants to see. And then she told me the story about her little girl who wanted to dress up as a piece of broccoli for Halloween uh, to go trick-or-treating. Right. Um, and, uh, but only if Daddy dressed up as Daddy Broccoli. So I just have this amazing image in my head of Brad Pitt dressed as a piece of broccoli face painted green, and his little girl dressed as baby broccoli wandering the streets going trick or treat. Next, it's time for the poached eggs. First, Edith adds some salt and vinegar into another pan of boiling water. Edith then creates a whirlpool by rapidly stirring the water. Then, cracks two eggs into the well, 
A clever tip as the swirling helps keep the eggs whole. After a couple of minutes, Edith removes the cooked eggs and drains them ready to serve. So let's stick these on here. Okay, and we'll put a couple of bits of bacon on each one. Let's go three on each. Don't want to waste any. Poached eggs, I think, are fantastic things. One. Two. And then just stick on a little bit of our hollandaise sauce. Here we go. Lovely. So for Edith's excellent eggs, Benedict, start off by frying some streaky bacon until deliciously crisp. For the hollandaise sauce, whisk two egg yolks with melted butter in a bowl over simmering water. Once thickened, add some white wine vinegar, then a little Dijon and whole grain mustard. Next, poach a couple of eggs in swirling boiling water until firm. And to assemble the dish, place the crispy bacon on a freshly toasted muffin, then layer on those perfectly poached eggs. And for the finishing touch, drizzle on the hollandaise sauce. All right, now we need to set the scene of where okay. we are. We're at Bowman Towers. Yeah, Sunday brunch, uh, papers strewn everywhere. Oh. Uh, oh, yes, eggs cooked properly. Brilliant. Perfect. Um, yeah, just, you know, a bit of music on in the background. Family, obviously. Delicious. Your hollandaise is quite vinegary, and I really like that. Mm. I like that acidity. It's, it is absolutely delicious. Mm. This is heaven. Oh, thanks. Mm. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs>